guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jack and this is my YouTube channel, Life In Motion. Welcome to 2020. Oh my God, a year has passed already. It has been absolutely mental, but I'm rather excited. I haven't been this excited for a new car in a long time. Next to me is my new car. Now, before I just quickly show you, I've been looking for a car for, I don't know, a couple of months now, maybe three or four months. Uh, came up to kind of Christmas time, I thought, hmm, I would fancy the change. I had a John Cooper Works, uh, and it was an amazing car, but I really wanted a sports car. And so, without further ado, this is my new Porsche. I finally stopped running now. With you, I found my peace somehow. Let go of every thought that was holding me back yeah. So yes, welcome to my Porsche 718 Cayman I don't know what to, I don't know what to say, I've, I'm a bit speechless about it But let's just have a little look round uh, I've no idea where to start, so let's just start on the outside Because I'm rather excited So, on the outside we have what I call A8 grey I think that's what it is, but A8 grey on the outside Which is metallic, with the uh, the black upgraded wheels on it, uh, they're matte black and they match nicely with the little bits of black around the car. It's got 718 just along the side there as well. Towards the front of the car, we've got the PDLS Plus, uh, Porsche, Porsche Dynamic Light System Plus, uh, which gives these little, four little dots, which like the running lights, which look really nice, uh, and the Xenons in the middle, which follow the road as you turn, and also the automatic beam and stuff. Uh, along the front, we've got a nice little splitter. It's not the sport design pack, uh, but it is just got nice little split bits on it, and it's got a uh, little spotlights on the front. Around to the side, this is something I really, oh my god, I'm so excited. This is something I wanted to show you. This is a fuel filler cap. How awesome is that? So instead of being at the back like a conventional kid would do, and I'm just going to fill up the car here, I don't know how you're doing, I actually do it at the front. How sick is that? I look a bit weird. One guy actually, when I was in a petrol station, beats me to move forward and I actually said, well, it's at the front, not the back. He said, oh, sorry about that. That's pretty cool. So yes, that is the uh, filler cap. So I'm going to close that one. Uh, around the back, obviously all the bits and bobs. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Right, we've got around the back. Let's just have a little... Let's have a little wee look. So at the back, we've got the clear lenses, which look really nice, and obviously just got the, the brake light in, in there. Uh, and at the back, we've also got black tailpipes, and we've got the black badges, so black 718. I like the 718 came on the back, and I wanted it black, though, so that's nice. And obviously then you've got Porsche there. This is a little spoiler that does come up and down. Uh, there's a little button inside, you can press it, and it'll pop up and down. But yeah, there it is, and it just looks so good. This, so this is the 718. The 981 was the previous one, and I do think this looks just a little bit better. The lights look nicer, the bumper, I think everything just looks a little bit nicer in this car. Right, let's just um, let's just run inside, but what do you think? Do you like it? Comment below what you think, but uh, I love it, obviously. Right, let's have a look inside. Let's go inside. Right, Porsche key, by the way, looks like the cars. So it's designed to look like the car, which is absolutely awesome. But going inside, oh, oh, right, it's very low down. They do say put the seat as low as you can, but oh my god, in here is just such a nice place to be. Um, so I've got in here obviously got the sports leather seats, these are two way electric seats. Um, I didn't realize how many variants of electric seats you can get until I well looked at a Porsche, but these ones, so the back one is electrically folding, goes backwards and forwards, that's the two way, backwards and forwards. The rest of it is just manual, you just pump up and down how you want to. Um, but they're really nice seats, they're obviously leather, uh, perforated there as well to keep you nice and cool, and also you've got heated seats to keep you warm uh, as well, which is nice. Oh my God, I'm so excited, I'm out of breath. Um, on the steering wheel, obviously you've got, uh, as a little upgrade, you've got the multifunction steering wheel with a heated steering wheel, but actually the button is just in there, which is, just, just inside here, there's, oh, can you see that? There's a little button, you press it, and here's the remote comes on. Um, I'll explain this little toggle thing in a minute, but no automatic, you know, no, no like little start button. In this one, you've got to actually put the key in. How about that? So you put the key in, turn it. Oh, oh my God, it's just so cool. These dials are so cool. Very 911-esque-ish for me. So, right, what have we got in here? So we've got all the, in, all the infotainment stuff in here, um, but let me just go to home. So we've got all the normal stuff you'd expect, media, you've got your car for all your bits and bobs, uh, navigation. It's got the, um, what's it got? It's got all those apps as well, which tells you kind of what's going on, data platter, like um, parking, fuel prices, Twitter and stuff, but whoever uses that, I've no idea. Um, it also has CarPlay, so when you plug your phone in, it pops up with all your apps, which is 
super good. Actually, if you've never used CarPlay before, what it is, is I'll, I'll pop it in here, but what it is, is CarPlay replicates what you've got your, on your Android Android or your, um, your iOS device, your Apple, and it just shows it on the screen. So you just basically click your apps how you want it, uh, and then just use it like you would your phone. So it basically just extends your display. Um, for me, it's so good because I can ask Siri to call whoever I need to, play on my Spotify through it, and actually can read messages to me, which I didn't think I'd use, but I have been using it. So that's been really, really cool. Right, one thing that I want to show you is this. Look at this. Oh, they are cup holders. I mean, seriously, how awesome is that? No, like, big governy things. See, that's for my garage control. There's not much in there. No cup holder things. It's all here, and it looks so nice. You just pop it away, and then, look. There you go. You wouldn't, even, you wouldn't even know that was out. How cool is that? So, just look at all my dials. That's, obviously, you've got your, your uh, speedo, and you've got uh, your, your revs, and the speed comes up there. But this is the one I'm interested in. So, you've got all your data about what your car's doing and your journey. Then you've got what your um, navigation's doing. You've got phone. You've got all your Bluetooth. Basically, all the bits and bobs you want to know. A G-force meter, obviously, because you need that everywhere you go. Uh, you've got everything. Chrono, that's a sport response bit. Everything, basically, all in there. And actually, having the little... Um, oh, I'm zooming in. Hang on. Having the uh, the nav in there sometimes actually really quite useful. Uh, when you're going, you don't want to keep your eyes uh, keep swapping down, so you like just have a little glance down when you're looking at your speed. It's great. It's really nice. So that's really nice to use. And actually, as a cockpit, when you're sitting there, which if you go onto the Porsche website or YouTube, they all tell you to put your seat as low as you can and then adjust it accordingly. There's there's ways of, of measuring it. You put your hands on your wheel and bits and bobs. But it means that you feel like you're in the car, like you're part of it, rather than like the Mini, which was a really nice driving position. It's really comfortable. Actually, with these seats, actually, this is probably more comfortable than my Mini was. And I guess it's it's just obviously down to the trickery of how good they're made. But it's just such a nice place to be, and it's such a nice place to... A nice cockpit to have. And it's really minimalist. I mean, if you're looking in here, there's not a mental amount of buttons. There's scrollers and two other buttons on there. There's obviously your heat steering wheel, and you've got your little knob if you get cr chrono. Lights, super simple, and everything is just really nicely done. Whatever you're looking at, it's just really nicely put together you know nothing is nothing is hard to figure out it's all super simple and this got a little bit used to but once you're getting used to it then absolutely is absolutely fine uh, and in here you've got now i've got i plugged the usb in for my phone but this i think if you get a case for it does charge your phone wirelessly which is pretty cool otherwise you don't really get much in there and um, you have got little jacket holders behind the seats uh, and they have a little bit of space there and actually you have got cubby holes in there you've obviously got um which i haven't actually oh, i've got i've got another usb in there and i've got um, my sunglasses but you know that's you know just a little glove box so yeah what is this little knobby thing what is it it says what have we got we've got uh, a zero we've got an s an s plus and an i so if i go into s it goes to sport mode if i go into s plus it goes sport plus and then individual and then last one normal so actually this is cool what they call a sports chrono pack now if you don't know about Porsche really all it does is on an automatic which is this is called a PDK because it's an automatic it's what Porsche Porsche something something but it's yeah it's basically a, a, an automatic gearbox for Porsche this A gives you launch control which is pretty cool B gives you this little boost button what on earth is a boost right that if you press it it gives you 20 seconds of sport response which feels like just a massive load of boosters powers up and throws you down the road and it goes berserk it's absolutely awesome so that's one of the things you get if you have a pdk but all it really does it gives you the little sport bit here and it gives you a nice little chronograph clock out there which is really nice and actually I was talking to, to the chap who sold me the car who's a good friend and he was telling me that actually a sports chrono is a really really good gun to go for um, I'm a bit, you know, I'm new to Porsche, I've no idea kind of how it all works. Um, obviously I'm only young and I haven't really been exposed to them, but it's been super easy. Cayman is, is obviously the base model, it's the, it's the baby of the range, and obviously then you go up through your 911s and things. And actually, it's such a nice starter. If you ever think you want a sports car and you don't want you know, the traditional stuff, or you want something a little bit more exciting, or something with maybe a little bit more heritage behind it, then this is such a nice car to go for, because it's easy, it's controllable, it's, it's still chuckable. It's only got 300 horsepower, because this, this is basically the base engine, so it's only got 300 horsepower, which is basically you know your F3s, your Golf bars, but it's rear-wheel drive, and Actually, on startup, engine. 
engine, by the way, right there. This is a mid-engine car. So, but part of what I was saying is that on startup, it sounds like a Porsche. It sounds a bit little clunky, and it sounds really, actually, really, really nice. Everyone has been telling me that the 981, the previous one with the bigger engines, which aren't turbocharged, are sounding a lot nicer. And to be honest, they do sound a lot, a lot nicer. But on this car, it sounds great, I think, on really high revs. This car goes to just over 7,000 RPM. For a turbocharged four cylinder, that's nuts. But yeah, it's mid engine, which gives you fantastic handling. It really, really does drive nice. And it's just the perfect place to be. So, as yeah, as a, as a first Pulse to own, this is such a good one to go for. And if you're looking for one, get one because it's absolutely brilliant so guys that has been a sneak peek of my new Porsche 718 Cayman I'm just so excited to show you guys I've had it for a little while so I've been kind of waiting to get a video before I can kind of pop it on YouTube so I've been so excited if you like it make sure to give it a thumbs up and also comment what you like about the car if you actually thought I would have gone for a Jag let me know let me know in the comments what you think about all the sports cars to be honest in the market let me know what you think um, but please please subscribe to see future videos because this year is a big year 2020 is one I'm doing a lot more videos more frequently and hopefully get to a thousand subscribers this year that's what I want to do it sounds not a lot but actually for me it is a lot so let's do it let's get to a thousand subscribers um, but yeah please subscribe to see future videos but for now I will see you soon I've got the time.